Hey guys, it's Marty here from smartmindedmarketing.com and today I'm going to show you just how easy it is to install WordPress using Bluehost so you can get started blogging or creating your website right away. You also get a free domain name as well. Okay, so just before we can install WordPress, the first thing we need to do is sign up for our account with Bluehost. So if you haven't already signed up, what you're going to need to do is just open up your internet browser and go to www.bluehost.com or alternatively, you can just click the link below this video. Either way, once you get here, you just wanna hover your mouse over where it says products and then click shared hosting. That's going to show us the three different hosting plans that Bluehost have to offer. To be honest with you, the Business Pro plan probably comes with a whole load of added extras that you won't require at this time, so that really just leaves it between the Basic plan and the Plus plan. The only real difference between these two plans is that the Basic plan allows you one single website or blog, and then the Plus plan allows you ten. So if you're only going to have one website or one blog, I'd recommend going for the Basic plan, and if you're going to have more than one, go for the Plus plan. Either way, once you're happy with your plan, just click underneath where it says select to purchase. I'm going to go for the basic plan because I'm literally just doing it for this tutorial. Once we've chosen our hosting plan, this is where we're going to register our new domain name, which is free. As you can see here, it says help me get my free domain. So all we need to do is type our domain into this box, then choose our domain extension using this drop down menu and then click next. So for this example, I'm going to register the domain name martydread.com. Once you're happy with your domain and your extension, we can just click next. And then this is where we're going to see if our domain name was available or not. So here you can see it says the domain you've requested is available and congratulations. So if this is the case, you can just carry on creating your account. But if it comes up and says the domain isn't available, you are going to need to choose something else because someone's already registered that one. Once your domain's sorted, you just need to fill out your general account information, things like your name, address, and email address. Then under that, where it says package information, beside account plan, you just wanna double check that your hosting plan is correct. So as you can see, it automatically set it to 36 months, which I don't want. I'm gonna set it to 12 months. And at this point, you just wanna make sure that you don't accidentally choose one of the other plans because you can see it has the plus plan and the business pro plan here as well. But I want the basic plan for 12 months. As you can see underneath, setup is free and our domain name is free. Then under that, there's a few different hosting add-ons which are optional. You can have a read through them and see if you want any of them. But for me, I'm just going to uncheck all of the boxes. Then underneath, we're just going to fill out our credit or debit card details. Or if you want to pay by PayPal, just click more payment options and check PayPal. Then once we've filled out our billing information, we just need to check the box to confirm we've read and agreed to everything and then click submit. I'm just going to pause the video for a minute or two while I fill out my information above. So if you just wanna pause this video, if you're following along with me, then restart it once you hit submit and we'll continue on together. Okay, so that's me now back, and whenever I click the submit button, I just needed to sign into PayPal to finish paying for my order, and then I was brought to this page that says, Welcome to Bluehost. Hopefully you're on the same page as well if you're following along at home, and if you are, you just wanna click underneath where it says, Create your password. That's going to open up this page in a new tab in our internet browser, and here we're just going to type in a password to use with our Bluehost account. So I'm just going to type in my password, then once more. Then underneath we just need to check the box to confirm we've read and agreed to the terms of service and then click continue. And once we set up our password we're going to be redirected to this page which is the Bluehost control panel. This is where we're going to be installing WordPress. So just scroll down until you see the heading website and then underneath click here where it says install WordPress. Now we just need to click the green install button on the right hand side 
and then using this drop down we can choose the domain name that we're wanting to use. You probably only have one domain name at the minute which is going to be automatically selected so for me it's martydread.com and then this box to the right hand side where it says directory make sure you leave this blank. Then just click check domain and this will normally just take a few seconds. Once it's done, we can click show advanced options and here we can set the name or title of our new WordPress installation. And then here we can set the password that we're going to use for logging into WordPress. So for my site name, I'm just going to call it Marty Dread to go along with the domain name. And then for my password, I'll just type my new password. I'll come back and change this after recording. Once you're happy with your site name and your admin password, underneath just check the box to say you've read and agreed to the terms and conditions and click install now. Once we do that, we're going to get this advert popping up and we can just close this. And up at the top, you'll see it says your install is underway and then there's this loading bar. It normally does take less than a minute for WordPress to install. And once it's done, the top will go orange and it says your install is complete. And on the right hand side, we can just click here where it says view credentials. Now, if we scroll down to the bottom of this page, underneath where it says action, just click view. Then if we scroll down, we'll see here, we now have our URL, which is our domain name. We have our admin URL, which is the URL to our WordPress login screen. Then we have our username and our password. So for now, all we need to do is click the link beside where it says admin URL, which is going to open up the WordPress login screen in a new window. Then we just need to copy and paste our username and password from this screen into the WordPress login screen. If for whatever reason you lose access to this page, the same information will be sent to you as an email. Once you paste in your username and password, just click login, and this is us going to be logging into WordPress for the first time. When you log in, you're going to be brought to what's known as the WordPress dashboard, and this is where you're going to add any pages or make any changes to your new website or blog. You can see what your site looks like at the minute by clicking your site title at the top, And then you can get back to the dashboard by clicking it again. So as you can see, it's super simple to install WordPress on Bluehost. I hope you find this video useful. And if you have, please give it a like and feel free to subscribe to my channel for more videos like this one. Once again, my name is Marty from smartmindedmarketing.com and thank you very much for watching my video.